So here's a quick tip for you and a common issue I see all the time. You go to remove your graphics card, whether it's to update your M.2 or upgrade your graphics card, or you're just trying to do some light, easy PC maintenance. Typically, I've seen people do this a million times and come back into the shop and says, hey, I think I damaged my graphics card, broke my PCIe port, or even worse, destroyed the motherboard. So if you look right up in here, you can see the little tab. And if you have fat fingers, and even with small fingers, even using a pinky, you can't get to that tab. And if you try to push in hard enough, I mean, you might be able to get in there, you might not. And one of the biggest things I see people do is they use a screwdriver, they try to get in there, they use a pick, which doesn't work good at all. And then as they start pushing in, they push too hard, they break the connector or they slip and they end up damaging the motherboard, which is no good. And in one rare case that I saw one time, the guy actually slipped and wound up breaking his graphics card. And that was due that during that whole uh, graphics card pandemic nightmare where, yeah, good luck getting an RMA or new graphics card for that. So a tool that I use that I have found to be great, and I use it because I do a lot of automotive work, is a trim tool. You can get these on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of different sizes and different angles and all different types of needs that you use. This one's a flat one. It's straight. And as you can see, I've used it a lot for computers. I've used it for automotives. And this thing works fantastic. If you look, it's kind of like a wedge. It's plastic, it's soft. So even if you slip, the chances of uh, stabbing and breaking the motherboard or graphics card versus like a metal tip is very slim. And even when I've slipped, I've never damaged the motherboard because this is soft and yeah, it doesn't really create that much damage if you do miss, but you're least likely to miss. You see how wide it is. So all I do is I take this and I go to the holder right over here. I push it down. Nice and easy. Now I don't even be using much force. And if you see the graphics card kind of slid out and I'll kind of show you that again, pop it in. And if you watch the graphics card of pushing it down, it pushes it right out and it's already released. And then of course, remove your screws over here. And then all I got to do is just wiggle this out and you see how easy that came out. No struggle, no fuss and no damage to any components versus using this where you could just get in there and cause some serious damage. Now, a lot of the new Intel motherboards, and I'm not sure if AMD is also uh, taking this design well, they actually have some type of mechanism or I think you like push right over here and it releases this, which is fantastic and something should, they should have done a long time ago. But if you're not looking to upgrade your platform and you need to get this out safely without damaging your graphics card, pick yourself up some trim tools. I mean, I've seen people use some type of picks or anything, something that is soft, not metal, which could cause damage pop it in and you'll have no issues getting your graphics card and that could save you a lot of money. So I hope this tip helps.